All right, fellow Earthlings. Richard's getting the uh, dumpster dropped off here. This is Trashly. And uh, for those of you that haven't heard, we donate to breast cancer awareness when we rent Trashly out. And we also donate to the trees when we rent our green dumpsters out. And we donate to the ocean when we rent our blue dumpsters out. <laughs> so yes, we like to give back uh, to our community, to the earth and uh, help out as much as possible. Right now, I'm gonna pull up WorkEase, the app that I use to collect the payments, pull up the customer's invoice, and uh, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and ring the doorbell and do all that right now. guys so I knocked on the door the customer it hasn't answered yet um, and I have workies pulled up here so what I'm gonna do is actually pull up uh, the job order and I'm gonna click on their number and uh, I'm gonna use my app workies to uh, give the customer a call and see how we're collecting payments today there's a car here in the driveway This guy literally always does this to it. He's a return customer. He says he's gonna pay cash. Voicemail for Dolman yeah. Leave a name and number. I'm not even gonna leave a voicemail. I'm gonna try blowing his phone up a couple more times. I'll let you know if I get a hold of him. Um, but yeah, he always does this. Says he's gonna pay cash, guys, and uh, and then he's not here to pay cash. So we always end up having to call and collect through credit card or something like that. We always get our payment, but it's always difficult. So let me go see if I can get in touch with him. I'll let you guys know if that happens. All right guys, so no luck on the payment. So I just sent him an invoice through Workies. Um, and hopefully he pays within the next couple of hours. He always does this to us. Do you guys have a customer that does that to you? Like they're just, they always pay, but they're always hard to get payment from. I don't know. That's, it just sucks sometimes. So yeah, on their terms. yeah, comment down below. <laughs> and also, do you guys have any customers that pay net 30 to where you gotta wait like 30, 30 days to two weeks uh, or more to get your check sometimes? Let me know down below. I wanna know some stories. Uh, chime in, guys. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? So we just arrived at the uh, first junk removal of the day. And we're going to give an estimate on like a household property clean out, maybe some tree trimming. Um, but the person's not here. Here's the, here's the house right here, guys. Looks like a piece of junk. And uh, the customer's not here right now. They just bought this house and there's still someone living in it. And so they have nothing to do with this, the person that's here. I'm trying to call the customer and... Uh, blow her phone up but she's not answering so we're having quite a day here Friday usually Friday is not like this so yeah guys um, we're back in this truck we uh, we got the new winch on we've got the there was a little fuel leak that he fixed and also an air leak in the uh, brakes so we got all that fixed but we had to um, get it back uh, and put the GMC in the shop because the GMC the DEF diesel exhaust fluid uh, heater core is going bad, which means um, went bad. Yeah, it, it went <laughs> bad, and basically what it means is that we can't go past a certain mile per hour. Right now it's 45 miles per hour, and we have like another 20 miles until it goes down to four miles per hour. So we literally won't be able to drive faster than four miles per hour in the GMC because this DEF heater core broke. It's ridiculous. Um, so we're gonna go get I, I dropped the truck off at the shop today this morning with Richard and we're gonna get that truck uh, Deleted so it's gonna be a diesel exhaust fluid delete All right guys, so after several several minutes sitting there calling the lady She never picked up so we are canceling that job for now And we're headed on to pick up a dumpster from the office Go to Oviedo and do our next job so stay tuned, it's been a pretty exciting day so far. Fellow Earthlings, 
guess where we are. We're in the middle of a parking lot. You guessed right. We're walking over here to Checkers. We don't fit through the drive-through in this truck, so. Yeah. Look at this. It gives you dance instructions and everything. All right, guys. So. What up? What should we order? Comment down below what you think we ordered. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for us? Okay, so I just ordered, and then the lady walked right away without putting anything on the screen. So, <laughs> do I have to order again? Like, she was literally looking at me. I said I wanted the baconzilla. I said I wanted bacon in every bite. I want the number three, and then she walks away. After I asked Richard what he wanted. So apparently you have to do a dance up to the window, or else they don't serve you. Uh, we didn't do the dance properly, so they're not here. <laughs> Like, like, and subscribe. And subscribe, please. Please, guys. Thumbs just up down us, below. Just give us a thumbs up. Right yeah. There. Richard, you're such a mother cruncher, bro. You gotta edit this. You're such a mother cruncher. Big in the law. Oh. All right, for the subscribers that do not know, this is a Wawa. It's a gas station slash restaurant, and it's got some good food. Yeah, had a subscriber ask me uh, just yesterday or, or the other day, what's a Wawa? That was a Wawa, guys, and they have good quesadillas. We're almost to our Oviedo job, and we are gonna knock it out real quick. We'll film whatever it is we're removing, um it's like I know it says right apartment one hundred but looking more for shipping. apartment one hundred looking for apartment one hundred. Can't see shipping for <laughs> Holly ho Alright so he's gonna pull up right here at the bottom of the driveway. Alright, so the first thing we do when we arrive at a job is we grab the tablet and we go ring the doorbell. And um, this person's name is especially hard to pronounce, so. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Alright, so we're here to remove whatever you need us yeah. to remove. Inside? Okay, let's take a look. pairs of gloves. Alright, so we have some junk from uh, the yard actually. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just finished loading everything into the container. There was a bunch of air beds and boxes of air beds. And there's actually one brand new air bed that's never been opened here. So, um, we'll be able to take that and sell that. Make a few extra bucks at one of our sales. Richard is taking payment right now. And um, I'm gonna go inside and make sure everything's picked up. All right guys, we're pulling up to the dump here and uh, this is Mickey Mouse. No, no, uh, and that's Minnie Mouse over there. <laughs> hey. oh, he's washing the we're gonna dump our container and we're gonna get a car wash too. We're gonna get a car wash from this guy up here. Hey, Mr. Car Wash guy. Oh, the gate's open now.
I'm gonna go ahead and get $10. I'm gonna say... Ooh. I'm gonna say... $13. Thirteen dollars. I'm gonna say it's really hot in here too. Yeah, why is it so hot? Wait, wait, here we go guys. You lose, no changing. He's trying to change now that he saw the weight. Wow, we weigh, we weigh less than 13 with you out of here. Yeah. That's wild. Look at that guys, with just me in the truck and one empty dumpster, we weigh 12,000 pounds. For those of you wondering, oh, thank you very much, sir. Hand sanitizer, keep clean. But for those of you wondering, uh, 26,001 pounds. That's what you have to be over to have a CDL. So no, we do not need a CDL to drive this truck. No, we do not. If anybody asks in the comments down below on this particular video, if I need a CDL, no, we don't need a CDL. Look at that, we only weigh 12,980 pounds empty. All right guys, stay tuned. We'll talk to you soon. All right you guys, so we're ready for the way. My mouth is dry. Wager! Oh, wait, wager! <laughs> All right, so I guess ten dollars in your boy. Guess thirteen dollars. He tried to change his guess to five, but that would have lost anyways. I got <laughs> nine twenty-four. That's the total, guys. Ten dollars. So I was only a couple of cents off. We'll see ya uh, soon. Wouldn't want to be ya though. Look at this, guys. There's an accident right over here. You can see the cop lights and the fire truck and so we are taking another route through the Walmart parking lot and everybody else is too so yeah this intersection right here kind of sucks like the cops are out there directing that traffic but they're not helping us here hey what's up guys so it, this is the end of the day the end of the video thank you if you've made it to this point I really appreciate you as a subscriber and he does too this is my little guy Osiris, if you've never seen him before. Hi. Yeah. So we're about to go on a jog right now. Richard uh, just went home. And so yeah, we're out of here. This is the end of the video. Hey, bye. Bye.